Hi guys, it's Elaine here, the Animal Reiki Lady. And once again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. I am currently in Florida at the Three Sevens Animal Sanctuary here in Parkland, Florida. Oh, can you hear the roosters behind me here? I'm gonna give you a little view. Um, yeah, you get me in all my farm glory. I at least changed my shirt for you guys. Um, but I want to just share with you what I have been up to. I am down here at the Three Sevens Animal Sanctuary. We've got horses and donkeys and goats and sheep. And there's a kitty cat by my feet. And there's a very special space that I want to take you to as we do a reading for Oreo. So yes, it's time for another reading. And today it is for Oreo, this adorable uh, little, I believe Oreo is a French bulldog, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to take you right back there. This is the Rainbow Bridge section of the farm, and I'm gonna walk you over there, and, and I wonder if I can get some of the horses. I, I'm not sure if you can, no, I don't think so, but that's okay. So walk with me for a second. Yeah, as you get me au natural here, guys. <laughs> All of my, oh, look at this beautiful space where I get to work. I've been here, um, helping care for the horses and helping care for all the animals while the um, owners of the sanctuary are away. And this is the sanctuary where I come to, uh, to teach Reiki. So several times a year, I'm here teaching animal Reiki level one and two um, with the magical animals and the magical horses that reside here. But for now, without making you dizzy, I'm bringing you to the Rainbow Bridge area. So I'm just gonna show you real quick because these are where Several of the farm animals who have passed, they're here. Obi and Onyx and Malachite, and I'm gonna sit with them, um, except that there seem to be some ants here, so maybe I'll just continue standing. Um, but I have some, of course I made notes, right you guys? I make notes like I always do, and I wanna share with you a little bit more about how this works and how this information comes through to me. And I want to tell you a little bit more about the story of Lucy. Um, Lucy, you know, is my black lab. She crossed in August of 2020. And when she crossed, she is the one who really, like, there's no other way to put it, but cracked my heart wide open. Um, she opened this space for me that allows me to connect. And she is the one who actually, she shows up every time I do a meditation for one of your animal companions. And it's like she leads them to me. Um, and she leads them to share their information with me. That's the best way to put it. And just to give you a little bit more insight about her, on the day that she crossed, it was a beautiful, beautiful day. We helped her transition. Um, she was in a very bad way physically and to, see, to watch her suffer, I could do it no more. And then she looked at me, right? She gave me that look, that look like, mom, I just can't do this anymore, please help. And. On the, at the moment of her crossing, I've shared this part before, at the moment of her crossing, she took one big, big breath. It was one big inhale. And on the exhale, all of us who were with her, we had done a little ceremony, all of us who were with her felt her pass through us. It was the most intense feeling of love ever. It's what I would love for everybody to be able to feel when their animal crosses. There are so many messages they want me to share with you about overcoming the fear of death and the grief and the guilt and the remorse and all those lower level emotions, all those low vibe emotions. There's this kitty cat who's just banging into my legs. Hello, sweetheart. Um, and anyway, back to Lucy. So the feeling was overwhelming. It was overpowering and it was actually a little fearful. I myself, um, before because this was long before I practiced this, um, I myself felt some fear and I was, I was, it just made me feel nervous about that level of intensity that I was feeling from her. And so I kind of took a step back spiritually and energetically took a step back from that feeling. Um, I held it with me, but I didn't let it go as deep as it could. So it was that night that it was right between that space of awake and asleep, just as I was drifting off to sleep, I saw her. She gave me a vision of her, oh, the sun's kind of setting over here. Um, she gave me a vision of herself as she stepped into the light. It was, it was this shared experience. There's no other way that I can phrase it. She showed me what it was like for her to transition. She showed me stepping into the light and how beautiful it was and how happy she was 
and how wonderful it is for all animals who cross every single one and she showed me as she stepped into her higher self and I saw that she had become a wolf um, she went from being a, a beautiful black lab to this most amazing blue-eyed black wolf black and silver and so amazing that um, that, that that I remembered it so vividly that I um, had her drawn and she now she's now on my arm as a tattoo <laughs> anyhow um, she is the one who then, after she showed me this, that's when all of this started to come to me. And all of these messages from the animals started to come to me. And so today we're going to do a reading with Oreo here at this beautiful little rainbow bridge area of the Three Sevens Animal Sanctuary. And I have made myself some notes, so bear with me as I, because I'm holding you. <laughs> I'm holding my little camera in my hand because there's not a place to sit down here where I won't be covered with little fire ants and we don't want that. Okay, so Oreo. Here's what I got from Oreo. What I do is I go into a meditation. I've tried to show this to you guys, but it's not, it doesn't work as well for me. I feel much more comfortable when I'm by myself and I quiet my mind. It's before I go on camera and I ask Lucy to bring an animal to me. And I have a list. I'm starting to lose track, guys. So if I have, um, I promise I've not forgotten you. I, I have made a list, but if there's something that you're looking for for your animal companion, um, let me know. Uh, send me a private message. Send me, you know, you can email me. You can um, put a message in the comments. I try to check all the comments. Um, and that's where Oreo comes from. And I think Oreo's mama has been waiting for a couple weeks for this. Um, so I, I ask Lucy to help me connect with the animal who I'd like to connect with. And that animal just seems to come through loud and loud and clear and I ask for something very specific for their human companion so that they know that it's their uh, that it's their pet and I also ask for information that they want to share with all of us and wow I got some really good stuff today for all of us but Oreo so here's what I got from Oreo as I was sitting quietly in my meditation um, Oreo says she knows that you still cry don't we all though don't we all still cry I still cry for my guys my Lucy my Winston my Jack I miss them in their physical form even though I can connect with them every single day I feel them in my heart but yes she knows you still cry and then some specifics that I that she showed me water I, I heard the sound of water um, and I'm not quite sure what that was but it was the sound of water did she never really like water or the, even the sound of running water, I, but it was the sound of running water that I heard. Also something about her sight. Did she lose her sight? I, I had a sense of something wrong with her sight, something wrong with her vision, and that she had a kitty cat friend. I'm um, interesting that this cat is still at my feet here. Um, I know you, you can't see her, but um, did she have a kitty cat friend uh, that was a, a companion to her? And did you tease her about her breath and was there something about her teeth? All of these things came through to me. Uh, I had a vision of her. I don't know where you're from, but I had a vision of her rubbing her face in the snow. Now, that could just be because I, even though I'm down here in Florida, I'm originally from, I, I traveled here from Colorado where there's now a foot of snow, so I may have snow on the brain, but I have a visual of her rubbing her head in the snow because it felt so good um, and that she was teased about her breath and something's going on with her teeth. The, uh, so I also asked for a message just for you. and. The message that Oreo gave me was to stop and look that there's something very beautiful in your life which you ha I'm sorry I'm reading there's something very beautiful in your life which you have been ignoring um, and that you should stop and take a better look at that also something about an invitation did you receive an invitation of some kind you're supposed to accept it uh, I had a vision of play and fly and airplane or Okay, really, I had a vision that you're supposed to jump from an airplane, but I don't know if that's in your wheelhouse or not. Um, but there's an invitation that you're supposed to accept and, um, and you should do that. Okay, so that was the specific from Oreo. Well, sorry guys, I know, I'm making you dizzy. I don't normally do this. I normally try to be as still as possible, um, but I don't want to not share this just because of the location. And this is so cool to be right here in this little area. Okay, so what have they got? What has Oreo got to share with all of us? We are not alone. You are not alone. This is specifically for Oreo's mommy right there. You are not alone and none of us are alone. They walk with us by our side every single day. Take a deep breath with me, really, right now, all of you. Just take a deep breath with me. 
and feel them. Can you feel them? I want you to just feel it in your heart that they are right by your side. And if you get some chills, some little feather fingers running up your neck, know that that's them. They are angels. They're angels. They were angels before they came to us. They're angels while they're with us. They're angels after they leave us. They never go away ever, ever, ever. What else? They don't speak the language of words. They speak the language of feelings. They speak the language of vibration. And it is why they keep sending us the message to set aside the grief, to forgive ourselves, to let go of the guilt. It's the grief and the guilt that are holding back our connection. We can know that they are right by our side every single minute of every single day. If we could just raise our vibration a little bit, just raise our vibration. And how do you do that? You do that by taking a deep breath or two, by forgiving yourself. In fact, if you wanna go check out the video that I've done on Ho'oponopono, which is a wonderful exercise in forgiveness, forgiveness for yourself, forgiveness for, we talk, to, we talk about forgiveness for everybody, for yourself, for your partner, for your children, for your veterinarian, for whoever was involved with you and your animal companion. Let it all go. Right now it is about you being able to connect with your animal companion. Every dog, every cat, every horse, every snake, every bird, they want to connect with us. And they will try every way possible to get through to us. And if we can let go of those lower vibrations, take a deep breath with me now, just breathe in. If you're driving, don't close your eyes. Come back to this. Breathe in. Oh my gosh, I feel the breeze. I feel the fresh air. Just breathe in through your nose. Allow it to fill your heart. Just allow it to fill your heart as full as it can possibly be. And then invite them to join you in that space. Ask them, ask them to show you what it feels like to connect with them. They're telling me to ask you to smell, to taste, to feel, to breathe. Smell them, they had a smell. Your animal companion had a very unique scent that you would recognize anywhere. Breathe it in, pull it into your heart. Sometimes I like to imagine that there's a beautiful bridge that springs from my heart. And they're sitting right there across the other side of the bridge and I just invite them to come into my heart. Their heart joins my heart. Feel them, know that they're here. I can sense right now, Lucy, Jack, Winston. Who's your animal companion? Let them fill your heart with the feeling, with the vibration and trust that they are trying to connect with you. In the breeze, feel this, hear this beautiful breeze behind me here. I'm gonna show you this. The palm trees just blowing in the breeze. And know that your animal companion wants to connect with you. Okay, so that's today's message. I'm gonna try and come back down here again tomorrow morning. I've got a couple more pets lined up and what a beautiful space to do this from. This beautiful rainbow bridge memorial here at the Three Sevens Animal Sanctuary. These are all little goats back here. Oh, do you see the kitty cat? Hang on. There we go. And you can hear the roosters. All right, guys, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. May the animals light your way. Take care.